now, my YouTube friends. YouTube has announced a bunch of updates that are coming in the next few months that are gonna hopefully enhance live streaming. Some of them are kind of game changers, especially for people who are trying to live stream new for the first time or for folks who wanna go vertical and horizontal. So let me cover what's coming up. We got a lot to get to, so you know what? Let's get to it! No intro really needed. These are all things that were announced by YouTube and I'm just going to jump right in. The first thing that they're talking about here is this new feature where you can practice going live on their app. Now, the app I'm pretty sure they're talking about is the phone app, which is awesome. I've been encouraging people to just go live for a long time. Now you have the opportunity to actually just practice because there's a setting for it and you can get comfortable and then go live when you're ready. Now they also have this other feature on their phone app which is supposed to also help make it easier to go live and that is a bunch of built-in games where you can just select a game, go live with the game and talk over it and just have a chat and maybe you get a couple of people in there. It gets you into the live streaming game a little bit. You can have fun and the games are built right into the app which is supposed to make it really easy. Now, here is the big one right here. It's under the heading Prioritizing Discoverability. And basically what they're saying is they want to be able to get live streams out in front of as many people as possible. According to their numbers, about 30% of everyone who goes on YouTube on a daily basis participates in some form of live streaming. So they're trying to make it as easy as possible. And they're going to do this by providing an app that gives you access to both horizontal and vertical shorts streaming in the same app. So you're no longer going to have to set up two different streams to do it, and it's going to aggregate all the chat in the same place on both streams. So if somebody's participating on the shorts version or the long form version, they're all going to be in the same chat. I'm really looking forward to this, and it doesn't look like it's going to be something that's going to preempt what you might be doing in OBS. It looks like it's just going to take the OBS format, and one of them is going to be vertical, and one of them is going to be horizontal. I don't know if there's going to be any ways to set this up or modify it or anything like that, but I'm really looking forward to this because it essentially eliminates the need to stream to two places at once because YouTube is going to separate the formats automatically. That looks awesome. Awesome. Now they're going to be adding to this React Live stuff, give you more icons, that sort of thing. It's my understanding that most people have actually been turning off this React Live thing anyways, but maybe they make it better, they make it something that people want to use. They say they're updating it, we shall see about that. Now this next feature is something looks like it's going to be part of the phone editing system. Hopefully they build something into the PC or the web version of it, but it's going to have AI powered highlights. So essentially when you're done live streaming, you can go in there and it's already going to have maybe four or five segments from your live stream parsed out that you can lightly edit or modify and then upload to shorts or something like that. So this will be fun. It'll be interesting to see how well this works. And if it works, boy, it could really expand the ease of creating shorts from your live streams. Now they're putting in some new monetization tools. One of them is this side-by-side -side ads and you can see it kind of demoed here. The video that you're doing is on this side. Side, the ad runs on this side. Apparently it defaults to the ad audio, but there is a way that the user who's watching can just switch the audio over so they're getting your audio and it just plays an ad right here. I don't know how I feel about this one. I think it's kind of cool that they can do this. However, I don't ever have ads in my live streams specifically. One of the reasons why I don't run ads is because you just never know when they're going to come up could be in the middle of a sentence or a comment and then everybody is switched to the ad and misses whatever you had to say. So in this particular case, it doesn't look like that's going to be a problem. So that's kind of cool. Now they're also adding a very cool feature where you can perform a live stream to the public and then flip it over to a members only live stream. And I think what's cool about this is it's definitely a way to encourage people to become members because if they're enjoying the stream and maybe they want a little bit of the backside of what's going on, they can become members and then join the live stream after the stream. And I really think that's pretty cool. It's definitely something I'm going to use in the future. So that's the live streaming specific tools that they are bringing out. And I'm really excited to see how this vertical and horizontal at the same time works. I think that's going to be neat. And I'm also kind of keen on this playables on live because I think it really lowers the bar to help people go live. You know, you just grab 
have Angry Birds on there and you hit the go live button and you chat while you're playing the game. And I think that could be really interesting for people who are actually entertaining. Now, if you're just going to go on there and play Angry Birds and you're not going to interact with the crowd, it's not going to do anything for you. But I think it's a great way for people to go live and kind of learn the ropes, learn how to interact with an audience and find out what's entertaining and you know you have to practice and it's a great way to do it so i think those two features are really pretty cool for new streamers or for existing streamers who have been doing it for a long time i talked about my two favorite features but i'd really be interested in knowing what you're excited about so let me know down below in the comments and if you want to see a video about how i've been live streaming in horizontal and vertical you should check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.